everyone, Kelly Lang here. I know, I don't look like myself. Who does before they put their makeup on? But I've been getting a lot of uh, women that reach out to me and ask me what my daily routine is and I wanted to share with you the little tips that I've learned along the way that help me uh, get ready faster in the morning and I thought, you know, maybe they would help you as well. I've got a few tricks. Um, this is all on a budget. I can't stand spending too much for makeup or uh, skincare or anything like that. There are a few things that I will not scrimp on, so I'll tell you that too. First of all, I go to Walmart and I simply buy these little scrubs. They're Equate. They're little scrubby um, makeup cleansing towelettes. Um, I wipe off my makeup every single night with these. They're very inexpensive. Um, I will then do some type of a cleanser. I um, go to, I get the Ipsy bag each month. Um, if you're not familiar with Ipsy, go to, I think it's ipsy.com. They send you five different products each month. And I get so excited when my pink bag arrives and you can try new cleansers or whatever. And most recently, I have found this. This is called Lava Magic, as you can see, M-A-G-I-K. This is like a little scrub. It's kind of a pink scrub. As you can see, I'm out of it too. I ordered a bigger bigger jar of this because I loved it so much. So when I get in the shower, I will really, 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 really scrub all down into my decollete as well as my face. This is fantastic. Um, any type of scrub, truthfully though, a scrub brush or whatever. Um, I also, I love to go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls and pick up any of these things here. You'll see these in the aisles of where they do the facial things. I tried them for the fun of it, just to see if any of them work. Oh my goodness, they sure do. Especially the ones that say um, high hyaluronic acids on them. This is rosehip with vitamin C. Um, this one here is hydrate with hyaluronic acid and vitamin B. This is glow with magnesium. Um, I also found that you could get collagen in a serum too. This doesn't smell as great, but you know, whatever. Um, two little products that I have found that I think are fantastic. This right here is called a Derma Roller. You can get this on Amazon, very inexpensive. It's got little tiny needles in it. When you roll your face, this is after you've washed it, okay? You scrub off your makeup with the Equate Wipes. You've washed your face with whatever cleanser. Cleanser doesn't really make a difference. But you can roll this on your face, all the way around your face like this, and it creates little teeny tiny holes in your skin, okay? Little bitty teeny tiny holes. Doesn't hurt, kind of feels good. It basically allows any of your a tonics that I just showed you to go into your skin even deeper to a deeper plane so I do this all over my chest all up in my neck and also another tool that I found recently that I really like I don't know what this is called but I found it I saw it on QVC but I found it on Amazon less expensively you roll your face like this um, it brings up the, the chin line it also brings blood flow to the face. That's why my face is so red. I've already done this this morning. It's very cold to the touch. You, you rub it around your eyes. It actually will lift up the skin. There's nothing magic about it. It's just a cold. Uh, it's got little stones in it. You roll your neck like this right here and it brings blood flow. You can actually do it on your arms and uh, it helps with uh, the fascia in your system and with lymphatic, uh, lymphatic uh, spreading of, of the fluids and stuff. It's very good all over your body. I actually use it on my knees and everything. Another little trick that I have learned um, that I've loved, um, when I find something I love, I love to spread it. This is called Westmore Beauty. It's kind of dirty right now. Um, they have it in different shades. If I'm going out and I don't feel like my skin on my legs or arms is especially smooth or if I've got um, a tan line that's not smoothed out or whatever, this is just kind of like wearing pantyhose without wearing pantyhose, so that's a great trick. Um, okay, this is another fun thing. You know how all of us have um, compacts that we didn't use all of one eyeshadow or all of one blush or perhaps something broke? This is a really cool thing. It's from Ulta. Uh, it's just a blank magnetic box 
that I got to put things that I wasn't quite used, to, I wasn't ready to get rid of, but they were from different palettes. So I just got to, they have magnets on the back of them, so they just stay inside there. There's different sizes of these palettes. And on occasion, I just don't want to throw the whole palette away. So there's that. Okay, so to start off, I am a huge IT Cosmetics freak. I love most everything that they have. So what I like to do is just once I've done my face and cleaned off, cleaned, off, cleaned off all my face, I put one, maybe two pumps on my hand, okay? And I rub it in like this to warm it up. I have lots of dark spots on my skin um, for some damage. I know, blah, 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 don't get in the sun. Those that know me, that ain't ever gonna happen. This has SPF in it. This has all kinds of um, skin benefiting products in it. It's almost like wearing a skincare within a makeup line. It goes on very quickly, very smoothly. Bam, okay? So it neutralizes my skin color and gives me an all over color. Next thing I would do, other than wipe all this off on my hands, and I'm going rather quick on this. Um, back to my quick wipes, love them. They scrub really, really, really good. And I keep this, keep a towel with me the whole time I'm doing my makeup. Um, the next thing that I would do is I love to contour. I know you hear the word contour all the time. And by the way, all of my makeup fits in this one bag. Everything that I would need would fit in this bag. It's kind of bizarre. It's got a Lionel Richie concert sticker on it. He's the best. Okay, so back to reasonable price. I really like NYX. I think it's fantastic for contouring. Uh, once it's called the Wonder Stick. Once you can see, I've used a lot of it. One side is dark. One side is light. Um, you can use any dark or light in anything. I just happen to really like this. So what I do is I go close to my hairline and I draw a line. I kind of go into where my temple would be. It's going to be darker shade than your actual. Um, than your actual foundation, okay? It's basically like drawing a, like a little curve. Then don't, don't neglect this because this will help you define your chin line. Again, going on this side around the temple, this is where a sun would hit your head, okay? Kind of go in here, make your uh, cheekbone more prominent by that. It's kind of like a V on either side. If you wanna make your nose look a little slimmer, just go up the sides of your nose, okay? Um, next thing you would do, you can either take this lighter side, but I like uh, taking it up a notch. Um, but first of all, what I would like to show you is you can get this really cool Kabuto brush. And um, with this brush, it really, I'm not a big sponge person, but I do like brushes. What I can do with this little fat Kabuto brush is I just kind of kind of wipe all of this in first. There's different ways of doing this. A lot of people like doing the light first, but I tend to do the dark first just to see where I need the light later. You can always add light later to change the structure. But as you can tell, this is already giving me a prominent uh, cheekbone. You bring this down onto the neck. The NYX really mixes well. It's very easy to mix in. So you make sure and just kind of stay within that line. Don't bring it down. Don't smear it anywhere. Other just, just kind of smudge it in. You don't want the line to go down further because you want your cheekbones to be where they are, right? So you make sure and blend. And this looks kind of crazy, I know right now, but it will make sense in a minute. Make sure you get that da dark down on your chin. Make sure you wipe these on your nose. You can actually do a little bridge over the nose too if you want. I have a small nose, so I don't really pay a lot of attention to, to doing a lot of that. Um, otherwise, I look like I can't breathe. <laughs> but um, I love Sheer Cover. I think Sheer Cover is a fantastic form of a highlighter. It's got three different lights. Um, I like Yves Saint Laurent. It's like a pen and you can use that as a highlighter because it's, it's rather light on the skin. And one of my favorites also is, um, this is probably more my go-to. This is um, IT Cosmetics. It's a very light highlighter. So let's go with that. Let's go with that right there. 
I'm gonna show you where, this is what I learned from Marie Osmond and it was invaluable to me um, as well as anything else I have ever learned from her. She's amazing. What you do is you look down, you find where the dark spots are. You can actually, while we're in this state, just brighten up this whole area. You can actually put it on your lids because this is a very good, um, uh, oh, what is it called? Eye, eyeshadow base. You can bring this all the way up to the here. You can brighten up this whole area, make sure you get those dark lines that go down. Women, uh, when they get to be my age, which is very mature, <laughs> can um, actually really benefit from highlighting these little lines right here on the lip because it gives you a little bit of a, a brighter, uh, powdier, what is it called, like a little poofy lip without having to go through all that mess we see that we've got darkness right here and right here when we get older. So we just lighten up the lights. We just put light wherever dark is. And I'm a painter, so sometimes when I paint, it's like light and dark. That's all it is, is lightening up where you're dark. Um, and as you go, it just builds. It builds and builds and builds. And I know this is freaky looking now, but you'll see the, the reasoning behind this in a minute. And a little bit of this, um, it uh, bye bye under eye this is a highlighted illuminated one but they've got one also that's not this is just kind of like a regular um, needs to warm up on the skin a little bit before you um, put it on the skin so it's kind of neat to put it on the back of your hand to let it warm up on your body's temperature before you get all crazy with uh, with the blending of it so as you see I'm just kind of making Recognize right now. Don't get it into that dark just yet. Just make the white eyes really quick and there's no real rhyme or reason. Um, if you've got a small, like a lower forehead, use more highlighter on it to make up the forehead a little bit bigger. I don't have a small forehead, so I'm just gonna put a little bit right there. Put it between the eyebrows, bring it down the nose. This makes the nose look a little smaller. I actually use a little bit of this above the eyebrow. This is before I put eyebrows on. <laughs> we all have eyebrows on, I guess, but um, some of us are challenged in that department. I know um, when I went through chemotherapy years ago, I lost a lot of them and never really gained them back. So we're gonna also go underneath where that dark was on our cheekbones. We're gonna make a line there, okay? We're gonna make a line here underneath that cheekbone. And we're gonna kind of just bring it down. Brushes are essential. This is a really cool brush to use for a lot of different reasons. <clears throat> it's a flat brush. It's a kind of a wide flat brush. One of the other things I learned from Marie Osmond, which I, is invaluable, is that when we women age, we um, tend to have bigger, wider lips. So it's really good to um, make your lips a little smaller on the bottom by putting highlighter right here and making the lip line a little bit bigger on the top. Okay, I'm gonna try to make some rhyme and reason out of this, okay? So you take the Kabuto brush, still the one that you use, you can kind of wipe it off a little bit. Blending, blending, blending is the key. Keep in mind, we already had the base on. You wanna blend this in really good, and it's basically just stippling it into the skin. You don't want it to be moved because it will move off of the skin and you want it to kind of stay in place um, some people put some people wipe the light in first um, I just tend to think it works better on me to do the dark first but you see how these the lighter spots are kind of they're staying lighter on me it's great for photos you don't have to do this every day I like to because I just love makeup but you don't have to go through this much trouble every day I think it just makes uh, a difference. And people strangely don't know what you've done, but they notice something is going on, okay? So, when you get all of that done, the next thing that I would do, I probably could use, your, your fingers are a really great uh, tool to blend with. So what I would do at this point, I can't stand looking at myself with no eyebrows. So, uh, I have this, um, let me see if I can find it. Ah. Yes. Okay. This is um, 
Lorac. This looks terrible. I've had it for a very long time. It is a very dark brown. It had two shades in it at one time, but um, I used one of the shades a long time ago and it's kind of messed up. But um, It's got a little, little stubby brush in it. You just get bald with it. Just put them on. Marie taught me not to be scared of eyebrows and to play with them and thick, thick eyebrows are really in right now. And I was craving my thick eyebrows again. I had them many years ago and this allows me to have them back. Don't be afraid of filling them in. Don't be afraid of messing them up because you can always erase. You can always take away what you've got. Q-tips are your friend. They can, they can erase a, a lot of problems. As you can see, the eyebrow is like a window to your eyes. Um, and I'm doing this very quickly so you guys may see um, I see some mistakes that I'm making. But um, notice I'm not doing this live because I don't want to bore anybody and you can turn it off anytime you want to, I guess, on this. And I can't read your comments anyway, so um, I will try to list what I've used. But these are um, the eyebrows, as Marie said, are a um, like a check mark. I, when I play a character named XOXO, I do a little bit more of exaggerated check mark. But I also like to go back through. This is a um, skinny pin. It's a skinny eyebrow. As you can see, it's very, very tiny. And I like to pick out a couple of the little hairs, like the fine hairs that um, would make it more defined instead of just like a thick brushed on look. Um, I like to go in and fill in like the little little spots and the beautiful thing about this is that they've also got a brush at the other end of this and again these are probably not as even as I could make them because I'm going quickly for you um, I like this little brush at the end and just kind of kind of makes them look um, more natural take a typical q-tip clean up the lines okay so another favorite thing that I like to do is I really like MAC. This is um, half red. This is what uh, is unfortunately everything I love seems to go away. <laughs> and um, my, one of my favorite things was this and I found it on eBay. So you can find it on eBay. Don't be afraid to line your lips a little bit outside on the top. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna make a little bow at the top. And go a little outside the lines on the top. And don't be afraid to make it flip up around the edges, okay? This is the trick that Marie taught me that was really cool. Line your bottom, you come in a little smaller. See, it makes your Lip line a little smaller. And it gives us a little bit of um, youth to our lips. You can fill it in. And I know makeup artists hate this, but I can't help it. I love it very, very much. I love Cat Cosmetics. This is by Katherine Hicklin, catcosmetics.com. This is called Rich. Um, I love glitter. I love a shiny. Most makeup artists only want you to put a little dab right there in the middle. And whatever. To each his own, but this is what I like. You can always go back with something a little bit more like a pop in the middle. Um, like, oh, I can't, oh, this right here. This is like a, this is another NYX product. You can go back through with something a little bit more crazy, just there in the center. And it gives you that highlight of, uh, makes your lips look a little bit more pouty on the bottom. Okay, so my friend Kim uh, Sizemore Fannin got me this incredible kit. This is an IT Cosmetics kit. I use it every single day. 
hard to find. I don't even think they make them anymore, but this has got everything that you would need in one, in one trick. So I take this on the road with me and I use an It Cosmetics brush or the cat brushes, which is another little trick I'll show you. You can go back through and you can make your cheekbones even more prominent. If you have um, tendency to have, this has um, highlighter or like little concealers too. Sometimes I have a little dark spot right here. You just, you just dab it where the dark, dark spots are. Wherever you see a dark spot, you just don't go through your whole face and do your whole face again. Just wherever you see a dark spot, just go back through and highlight it again. You don't want to have too much uh, of that going on. Okay, so to make it simple, this is a white powder or I use a yellow banana powder and I just kind of go back over um, to blend even more in. This is kind of like a uh, all over non-color kind of powder. I've already done my lips. This is the blushes. I actually go through all three of them. I just do that right there. We're, our cheeks are not one color. You just circle around. And it just gives you a little pop with that. Okay. This is really cool. So this is a makeup eyeliner. Well, what am I talking about? It's the Cat Cosmetics Makeup uh, Brushes. I love these so much. These are fantastic. Um, as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, they're different little brushes all in one. So I'm going to use this bigger brush here, and you can go to catcosmetics.com to get that too. I love to just, when I'm going just natural throughout the day, I know this doesn't look like a natural look, but it will. I like to get this kind of, it's almost like a red, peachy kind of red, blow it on it. And I like to just kind of go up into and make a new C kind of form around where my eye is right there, okay? I do that on, on both sides. If you make a mistake, don't worry, we're gonna clean it up in a second. There's no mistakes in makeup. Okay? Um, it gives you the natural kind of, of look that we like. Um, if you want to, you can go back with like a little bit of lighter on the eyelid. Um, sometimes I'll put a little bit of frost on there and just make the eyelid larger. There's all kinds of tricks that you can do to change the shape of the eyelid, but I'm just doing a natural, fun kind of look for us today. Um, make sure you get it blended really nicely. With a smaller brush, I go back and this is, this is a rather small brush, okay? I go back in with a darker, like that color right there, and I make a, an archway here. I just make a little... <laughs> Sandy wants to do her makeup too. And I bring it all the way down into that hole there. And again, this will make sense in just a minute. Okay. I know this seems like a long video, but I am going so fast. I can actually get ready pretty quickly though, but teaching you guys is a little different. Okay, so this is gonna just make the eye pop a bit. Then I go into the darker. As you can see, I use a lot of this darker with the same kind of brush. And I really dig out that, that uh, eye socket. I really dig it out because that's what makes eyes pop. And this is kind of like a purplish brown. For green eyes, this really works because the purple is, um, it's a really good, opposite of green or well, it's actually the opposite of yellow on the color wheel but um, it makes an eye pop okay so you just kind of do along your eye socket I'm sorry if I'm making crazy facial expressions with this but that's the way it is okay so I line that sometimes I even go in there and I will actually line underneath and not all the way to the center but it gives you the same kind of sensation of or the same same uh, color palette 
as what's on the top of your eye, so it looks really neat. And when you use a powder, when you get to my age, it seems to look a little less harsh, especially on cameras, okay? So then after that, um, I also really like to go back and pick up a highlight. So this, this has got a highlight in it. It's got these little, little highlights and I like to go up here and make sure that the brow bone is highlighted properly with, an, uh, with a lighter color. I like to pick out that, that spot right underneath the eyebrow and lighten that up a little bit. I think it gives you a very prominent look around the eyebrow. Okay, so now that we've got all that done, I'm going to uh, share with you, uh, let me see what I wanna show you. There's so many different little things. Okay, so I would like to show you how to put on an eyelash. First of all, I like to use a liquid liner to begin with and um, shake it up a little. I've been told not to pull my eye, eyelids, but I can't help it. You just go around the eyelid edge, just as close as you can to the edge, bringing it down to the actual uh, tip right here, okay? I am not good at cat eyes. I never have been. I try my hardest to bring them out. Can't do it. It's just not possible. But with liquid liner, just do it on the top. I'll show you something fun in a minute. Okay, so you just drag it up. Not rocket science, it's just, just playing and getting used to the playing of it. Bring it all the way down to this area right here. And it's always good. Where is my, <laughs> lost my little towelette thing. Anyway. Okay, so got that on. Well, I am allergic to glue, eyeliner glue. Found that out the hard way. So I have found, thank you, Lisa Proctor. I have found that um, there is hypoallergenic eye glue. So I'm going to, this is a lash. The, the um, lashes, that I, I use all different lashes. This is a full lash. But what I tend to do sometimes is I cut a little bit off the edge of the front because nobody's lash is really that long, okay? So here's a smaller one. We're gonna go with this one that I have already cut. And I use a, um, an eyelash glue that is hypoallergenic. And it, goodness gracious, it will not make my eyes swell. I got the wrong one there, okay. So I've already cut this just to a smaller thing. Um, this is called Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive and it makes, um, makes my eyes not water. You just put a little bit on the edge like this right here. It's kind of, it's kind of a purple, uh, it looks fluorescent in a way. Let that dry for a second. I like only putting them on the outer edges. And stick it up as close as you can to your your uh, original lash line. And you, with this glue, it glues very fast, so you can move it around. It's best to kind of tip it up at the edges if you can. It gives you a little bit of a glamorous look when you're putting your eye makeup on. As you can see, it makes my eye uh, stand out a little bit more, okay? Um, I really have a hard time putting lashes on myself. I love when other people do them for me, but this is the easiest way I have seen to do it. And after that dries for a second, you'll see you can still kind of even push them up a bit, okay? And then I would put mascara on. Again, I like Superhero by um, It Cosmetics. And I just put a dab on the bottom. And once that, once that dries in there, you can actually go back through and put your mascara. Again, I'm rushing this. So you can see in the, in the makeup video how fast that lash will dry. I, I love mascara. I've tried all different kinds and 
Um, I tend to like this a lot. And I also like uh, Color Stay by, oh goodness, Color Stay by L'Oreal. And I think I have misplaced it. It might have fallen, hang on. Goodness. Anyway, Color Stay by L'Oreal. It is not by L'Oreal, it is by Revlon. I use a Color Stay with a little sponge at the end. Uh, when I wanna go into a more glamorous look, I tend to line inside my waterline, just like that, even around the top. I go, I close my eyes, and it just kind of um, puts more of a pop into that. I actually go back over the line that I had very lightly so you don't see any of the glue line of the um, eye lashes. And you can actually bring out the line a little bit more, too. It gives you more of a wider eye look. This is more for stage um, than this side. I'm going to also show you my favorite. I can't stand not having um, uh, mascara on both sides, so hang on. Um, I also want to show you my favorite powder to set everything, and it gives you a more of a golden glow. I normally don't um, curl my eyelashes. I don't think it's necessary sometimes to do that. Um, <laughs> speaking of uh, glamour, this is um, Urban Decay. This is called Space Cowboy. It is a really cool, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like a, a glitter in there. And it is, um, it's not a real super shimmer, but it adds, like if I'm going on stage, it adds a little bit of, um, glam and I don't know if you can see that or not I'll show you a better picture of it later but I really like this uh, just to add a pop of glitter without it being too crazy if you're going on stage for makeup also I've seen Marie put glitter stuff on and then she uses like a hairspray to set it blows my mind how she does that um, this is my favorite powder. It's a banana powder. It's called Ofra, O-F-R-A. Um, again, I got this in my Ipsy bag. I use a, a brush. I go through this and I just swirl it around. I, I love to use this because we all have yellow highlights um, within our skin and I think this gives more natural look to the skin. It just, it helps you blend everything in nicer. And again, I don't claim to know everything. This is just what I do. If you ever wanna know, I don't know why you'd want to know, but this is what I do. Another magic trick that I have found. Um, this is called Instant Ageless. It comes in a little tube like this. It used to come in a little um, satchel, but I didn't like it. Um, I have tendency to have puffy under my eyes. When lighting is not good, oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing to go on stage. You pop this open, and you would tend, tend to, you know, generally do this before you do your makeup. Just a little dab will do ya. Teeny tiny bit, and then you can turn it back over and put the caps on, on top of that. But you um, can tap it between your fingers, put it under your eyes, and you would not believe how, in just a sh short time, if you don't move your eye muscles very much, you can actually put it on scars or spots or uh, deep wrinkles in your forehead. And after a few minutes, they will tend to just, the deep puffing will happen. It really, really works. I know you've seen it on TV. It really, really, really works. Okay, so um, that's about it. Um, it's a mess in here, but as you can tell, um, I have got lashes on this side alone. Um, I have got contour, I've got eyeliner, I've got just about everything. So if I was getting ready to go on stage, it would be a little bit more dramatic than this. Uh, this is kind of like what I would wear going to dinner. Um, I do tend to be a little more over the top because I love makeup so very much. Um, so anyway, hope this helps. Okay, so I realized once I get done with my makeup that as it sits for a minute, I wanted to show you how you can go back and fix a little bit of the issues. So I still have a little bit of this uh, highlighter on, on the back of my hand. You look down, you see where you're dark. Those little dark lines right there, because we still have them. 
the little dark line, little dark pockets inside. <laughs> I still get a little bit more. I still go down the marionette lines right there. I still look, I look down. I see where the darkness is still. So we can always be lightening where we need the lightning. This is my favorite trick, girls, hold on. This is my favorite trick. Where our line might have not have been as straight, going up into the eyeshadow, he's gonna erase it with his slider. It makes it, um, it makes it straighten itself out. Look at that, okay? So then you go back again with your little Kabuto brush, and then you can tap this in again. You can actually, and I'm just tapping. You can actually do this with your fingertips. But it just brightens everything up a little bit brighter. Um, this brush here is really, really cool too because it's, it's a knit brush. It's got a small, uh, tiny tip on the end. You can actually go into that hole right there and do even further, okay? So um, my favorite thing at the very, very end would be um, this IT powder. It is basically, it's pressed powder. You can go back over it with a sponge that's within the Pratt powder. Um, it's a little, just a round sponge. This powder is kind of white. And this is great if you're going on TV. You just put a little bit around and it evens everything out and it keeps your makeup on for hours. It gives you a um, all over glow, not a glow, but a uh, evenness that I think is invaluable. And please forgive me, my allergies are really bad today, so my eyes look rather weak. But as you can see, I've got lashes on both sides now. I've got a little bit of glitter on them. Um, I have not really blended as well as I should have, but let me through it. Bye. You are